Peggy 16. Sega. Hello and welcome to the Total War Shogun 2 Multiplayer Tutorial, Part 1. I'm Kieran Brigden, the Studio Communications Manager for Creative Assembly. Today we're going to have a look at the new multiplayer system in Shogun 2. Here I'm creating my online avatar, Nature's Fury. I'm now choosing my Mon, or Clan Banner, which will be seen in all of my battles. And now selecting a colour for that banner, so as I can be distinctive amongst all the other online gamers out there. You can see I've chosen a petal motif with a dark green. I'm also going to choose a starting region, which affects the online campaign map we can see here. This is different to the game's single player campaign map and indeed the multiplayer campaign map. Now we can see here that I have a number of different options. I have my avatar right there. I also have my navy. I can drag this into the surrounding regions which I can invade and should I win my subsequent battle, go ahead and unlock the bonus that that gives me. The various bonuses of course include retainers that I can play at the beginning of battles, I can unlock new unit types and various other attributes for my online avatar. I've chosen the Northern Province. I can now select to have a match-made battle, fight against an opponent of equal skill, or indeed I can enter into the battle list, which is the number of games running right now. I'm going to choose the battle list. Here you can see we have the battle lobby with a number of different players down on the bottom right-hand corner. We're going to go ahead and host our own battle. On the right-hand side I can choose the level I'm going to play on. Of course I can choose whether there are key buildings present, what time of day it is, or indeed the spring, summer, autumn and winter season. I can also crucially choose the number of funds that are available, limiting the army sizes that can be used in this match. Now we're hanging on a moment and you'll see, there it is, one of my friends has just joined the game. We're having a little chat in the box below, of course talking about all the world issues and all the deep intellectual needs of the moment, such as hello, have fun. We're going to go ahead and choose our armies now. Now of course, because I have a very early level avatar, I'm going to choose just from a number of small units. I have a couple of cavalry units to choose from, some spear infantry, some sword infantry, and some bow infantry. You'll see the others are locked with padlock symbols. They'll become unlocked as I successfully unlock them on the campaign map we saw earlier. So now I'm trying to stay within budget, much like all the governments of today's world, and actually spend my money wisely on a good unit mix and a balanced army. So I'm pretty much ready to go now, so is my opponent, we tick ready and we're going to be moving in to our online battle. So here we are on the battle map that I've chosen with the time of day and the seasons. You'll see there are a number of capturable buildings in the battle map itself. These can all be taken in real time and they apply bonuses across my entire army. The symbol above the building will give you an idea of what that bonus is. Some give you archery bonuses, others for melee combat, and some still will give other bonuses across the entire army. You should choose what you capture carefully. After an initial setup phase, we go ahead and engage. As the battle begins, I move my ranged units forward into a very good forward position and fire down upon the prone gunpowder units of my opponent. Although he has stronger weaponry, I have a better position. And with a well-timed arrow volley, followed by a horse charge, I destroy his flank and roll up his low-level army. Unlike the Yari Ashigaru, Yari Samurai possess the ability to defend themselves in melee combat and are more effective against enemy cavalry. So having unlocked that new unit type, I've also gained myself a rank and a new veteran unit that I will name the Spitting Cobras, in line of course with my Nature's Fury tank. We've gained a couple of points of XP and of course unlocked some special bonuses due to the way that we fought the battle. If we have a look at the unit statistics, we can see how many of my men killed how many of theirs, always important to know. And of course, we can go back to that online campaign map now and see that I've conquered the northern region, hence unlocking the unit we saw earlier. I can now of course choose to go into the, any of the surrounding regions. But first, time for a little dress up. Here I can modify various different aspects of my avatar a little bit, but I'm going to spend some skills on the skill tree. The general is a persistent character that you own. We can unlock various different skills and abilities, all of them affecting different aspects of combat. Here I've chosen the Bow Mastery Tree, enabling the bow and of course extra bow damage. And now of course I'm going to mess around with the uh, avatar, personalise him some, based on some of the new items and attributes that I've unlocked in my previous battles. It's always important to have a spiffing hat as part of your attire, very much as it is the source of your general's power on the map. 
Of course now you can see we're choosing a variety of different waistcoats, hats and various different bits and pieces to personalise my general and the way he looks. I'm hyperventilating slightly because I've sped it up for you. We're also choosing a nice green shade to go with my Nature's Fury name and again make sure that I look a little bit individual on the grand field battle. Aesthetics are very important, don't you know? And here we have just the first part of the multiplayer trailer. Join us next time for more information.